Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And just like y'all, it is the first day of school for the Parker household. So we are super excited just like y'all. But I wanted to stop and do this video because I haven't did a video in a couple of days. I haven't because I've been busy like everyone else. But I had a wife to send me a message and her message said that her husband told her that she does not make him happy, that he appreciates everything that she does, but his happiness is not contingent on her. And she was like, we done been together eight years. And if I don't make him happy, then I don't understand what I need to keep going forward. I don't understand this. I don't understand that. And I just feel like my job is to make him happy and his job is to make me happy. And I had to say, wait a minute, baby. Let me explain what your husband is trying to tell you. Basically, your husband is telling you that I'm whole. I have everything that I need. I wake up every day. I'm in good health, my spirit right, my mind right, my body right. Everything about me is where I need it to be, right? You add to that wholeness. You add to that happiness, but the happiness, I bring it to the marriage. I bring a happy me to the marriage and it's not depending on you to keep it up or make me happy. So in other words, anything that you do is just extra, but I'm whole. See, I went and got this cake because I wanted you to have an analogy to see what wholeness looks like. This cake is whole. Nothing is taken from it. It's all together. It's all there. It has all the ingredients in it to make it taste good. In other words, whether I am uh, single, whether I'm married, whether I'm in a relationship, whether I'm not in a relationship, I'm whole. Meaning I'm happy. I'm happy with me. I'm content with me. I'm okay with the choices that I've made in life. I'm okay with everything that is going on with me. I am content. That's good. What do you bring? See, this already whole. You bring what's extra. In other words, when I get to doing all of this to it, oh yeah, you, you bringing this extra to it. But guess what? Even if I took all of this away that you bringing, I'm still whole. I'm still whole. Even if we took all of this little extra that you're doing and all the stuff that I appreciate about you, and when you do the, the this, and when you do the that, and when you make me smile, and when you do this, and I, all of that that you that you bringing, you just made it better. You just made it better, but guess what? I was whole when I came. I was happy when I came. And it, wasn't, it ain't had nothing to do with what you did or didn't do. If I could get more people in relationships to bring their whole happy self to the relationship, we'll have it going on. We would have it going on. I didn't sat down, I didn't left my lighter, but I got this here. Oh, we got some candles. I got excited, y'all. If I lit them up, give me, a, give me a second. Let me go get it. See, see, you brought all of this and you brought all that. All, all this, this, this is the extra that you bring in to the wholeness that I already possess. So you, you bring in that and guess what? Oh yeah, this is exciting. Oh yeah, you know how to set me on fire, baby. You know how to do it to me. You know how to get the wheels to turning. You know how to stroke me, baby, up and down, left and right, up and down. Oh, oh you do see all this, the extra that you bring in. But guess what? Even if I, I'm still whole, that's what you don't understand. But let me show you how people, how people normally come to the relationship. 
I got to do this analogy. Most of the time, people come to the relationship and other people that came. Now, you see how I, I'm just tearing this cake up? And how I'm, oh, oh, I'm tearing it up. I'm belittling. I'm bashing. I'm making you feel bad. You all kind of bitches and hoes and you ain't shit. And you this and that the other. And I, I'm just tearing you up in your self-esteem and, and in its self-worth that you got. And a lot of times, let me, let, let me just do this because I got to do it like this in order for you to get it. Lord, I got to do it like this in order for you to get it. But see, most of the time, most of y'all, this is how y'all coming to the to the marriage and to the relationship. This is how you're coming. All beat up and broken and what other people that damaged you and just that made you feel like you ain't nothing. And then this other person come along and you expect them to make you happy. This, this them. You expect them to pour into you and make you happy. And, and they got to do it because you so, you, you so empty inside. So they, they got to come and add to you. And make you happy. So you can't get the analogy of somebody telling you, baby, when you met me, I was happy. When I came into this situation, I was happy. And even if you leave the situation, guess what? I'm still going to be happy. You know why? Because I'm happy with me. I'm content with me. I'm okay with me. But a lot of times what happens is people come and they take away and they nitpick and they this and they that. And, and, and this, this is how they leave you. This is how they leave you. But it takes strong people to come in a relationship happy and to leave it whether you there or not there, whether you add these little sprinkles and, and trinkets of life or not, and they still remain happy. Because what you got to understand is that's something within you. That's something that you possess. It ain't nothing that nobody else can give you. It ain't nothing that nobody else can add to you. This is something that you have to, you have to have this within you. You have to have a certain contentment and a love of pride and all of this kind of stuff with you. And when you have that, you're not going to let nobody do this to you. And see, when you, when a, when a person start pulling from you like this here, and when they start doing, doing like this here, you know what you do? You go ahead and you move out the way because you ain't going to let nobody tear you up. But a lot of times in relationships, people don't understand what it means to meet somebody and they whole, and they content, and they happy, and they well, and and all you doing is just basically you you an asset to it. A lot of people don't understand that. So, ma'am, your husband telling you, sweetheart, I'm whole. So whether you do or don't do, I'm still whole. Now, I like all the stuff you do for me, and I appreciate what you do for me, but I want you to have an understanding that whether you do or don't do, I'm still going to be whole. Now, what I'm not going to do is let you take away from me and, and tear me up and make me feel bad for being whole and, 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 and make me feel some type of way for being whole because you want my source of happiness to come from you. I'm not going to allow you to do that to me. I exit before I let you do that to me. But the reality is, most people come into relationships, toe up like this, and they're looking for somebody else to fill them. They're looking for somebody else to make them complete. Oh, I need you to make me happy. I need you to make me feel good. I need you to know, baby, that comes from within you. Okay? You all be blessed. I know I didn't got missed to the day. <laughs> you all be blessed. You all like and share. Um... This is anal August, so I will be uh, talking about milk and the prostate. That's going to be coming up. Because I know a lot of times everybody think I'm going to focus on just anal sex for the woman. But no, we're going to talk about that booty hole for the man too. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your day. And children, great success this school year. Y'all tell them that because they ain't got no business looking at this video. So y'all tell them, Sharonda Parker say great success. Nothing but blessings. Nothing but increase. Nothing but favor. This school year upon their life. And that ain't just for them. That's for their parents too. Y'all be blessed.